Thanks to the community passing Measure ES on the November 6, 2018 ballot, we're here at Richmond Street School for a ribbon cutting ceremony celebrating the completion of a new six classroom building on campus. We broke ground in September of 2022. So thank you to our neighbors and our teachers who put up with the noise and dirt and uh, sometimes the fencing looked like a choose your own adventure, a uh, $14 million project. Uh, and so we are very excited to present this to the community and dedicate the building today, January 2024. It's a huge building. It fits perfectly with the existing architecture. They did a wonderful job of blending that. Yeah, this is a big day for the school district. This is actually the largest construction project the school district has done since the Great Works Project Administration, which was like in the mid 30s. This is a big deal. I'm a retired teacher from this district and to see all of the amazing things that are going on um, is just incredible. The school board and Dr. Moore really have their fingerprints all over this new building and we just can't thank them enough and their leadership ensuring that it happened. We were busting at the seams. Um, we were sharing space with our after school learning program, TLC, and they were also located way down at the other end. So those teachers and students, there was a bit of an isolation felt. And so now we're all together closer than we really had been before um, in, in the space that we needed. And it's just gorgeous. It couldn't be more beautiful. Can't wait for our students to see it. It's just another mark of how wonderful our school district is and how thankful I am to be in this community. With furniture on wheels, high-tech features, and more, the classrooms allow for flexibility and creativity in teaching. Everything in this building is designed for the kids. It's designed for education. It's designed to make this a place of learning where the kids feel comfortable, and want to be here. There is one classroom on the bottom that has a garage door and one up top so we can really take advantage of indoor outdoor learning spaces. Every little detail was super thought out so we're, we're glad that from inside to out it's as beautiful and useful as it can be. Out here is a gorgeous patio with our um, mascot as a mosaic. It's gorgeous. I really do see this whole outdoor area as being a hub for students to be learning and curious and forming community. The new building will be occupied by the school's second and fifth graders. We have three um, fifth grade teachers upstairs, so all of our fifth grade students are upstairs, which is also very exciting because they're the oldest ones on campus, so they get the top floor of the brand new building. And then on the bottom floor, we have all of our second grade classrooms. But I'm actually one of the classrooms moving in, so it's gonna be very exciting. The one thing that filled my heart the most was seeing the student ambassadors. They had their shirts on, they had pride. School doesn't start, they're still on break. So it says a lot that they, were motivated to be out here to serve and some students I just stopped and I talked to them and they would tell me about the mosaic on the ground and then I took a moment to shake a couple of hands of the students and one thing that I love was the firmness of the shake and it told me there was a lot of pride and excitement for their school. Chiming Row led a group of fellow volunteers to create the school's new learning garden. 2019, we, my son was in kindergarten and there was an existing garden, so I was already plugged in that we had a learning garden. Then obviously the building happened and I knew that I wanted to be part of it when it came back. And in that same time period, I actually started my business, Coastal Homestead. And I used to be in finance and then I switched during 2020 to doing garden design. We have herbs growing, vegetables growing, we have a beautiful butterfly garden. All of this will come in more in time. It will be a learning garden world where they will get to plant, they'll get to harvest. The kids really like to smell, touch, feel everything. So everything in here is edible, even the flowers. Um, they can have crafts, they can press the flowers, and they can, they can even try to eat them, decorate with them. And there's lots of herbs and cauliflower, broccoli, lettuce snap peas and that's just for winter and then around March we're gonna turn this all over hopefully we'll get the kids involved they'll do some planting yeah so there's a lot improvements to all of the schools within the El Segundo Unified School District have been made possible by the passage of Measure ES we are so grateful for Measure ES I'm sure as you drive around El Segundo you can see at every school site there has been 
just a beautiful um, transformation at each site and we are so proud of this one here. This was a labor of love. We put together a strong community coalition representing many different factions and groups and you know our community has always been steadfast in their commitment for our schools and so we thrive because we have the support of the entire community. Measure ES was the biggest bond ever launched by the school district and it has touched every campus in a big way. So I was on the board when we passed it and I was on that small committee of volunteers that really worked hard for its passage and to see it come to fruition, I can just say that it's even better than what we dreamed it would be. Our students are our future, and it's important that we continue to invest in our students. And thank you to this, the community of El Segundo for passing the bond. I think it's good that the community is doing this because it's like it helps it helps a lot of people learn, and then it and then it kind of gives like the students like a fresh space to work in. This building is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I moved here for the schools and uh, I'm delighted that my grandchildren are able to attend school in this district and I think it's always been something that El Segundo has valued and they continue to value. The students and staff at Richmond Street School are excited to enjoy the new classrooms and garden which will enhance the learning experience here for years to come. For El Segundo Media, I'm Katherine Chen.